All right, what's going on, everybody? So it looks like we got the new FOBs in 3.24, and they're pretty cool. Uh, some have names and descriptions, but some do just have a number designation. That may just be a placeholder, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Uh, from what I can see, these FOBs are located on every moon and planet with the exception of Crusader and Art Corp for obvious reasons. Uh, most moons seem to have just two, but I did find a few that did have more than two. Uh, Microtech and Hurston have several on their surface. Uh, Microtech seem to be mostly number designations, uh, whereas Hurston definitely had more that had actual names associated to them. They're all more or less the same. It's got a central building and some type of structure around the outside like liquid tanks, smokestacks, or antennas. Uh, all the locations had landing pads, with some having two landing pads, but I was not able to repair or rearm any of them. I do think that is by design, uh, since these locations are more or less uh, abandoned structures. Now, I don't know the lore, but I assume that there will be some lore. Uh, since everything's all rusted and old and there's graffiti on the walls with things saying like fight back and never. Uh, for defense, there are several mounted guns. And are these forward operating bases completely derelict? Are they empty? And that's pretty interesting to me. I really like the introduction of this if, if in fact they're truly empty. Because, I mean, obvious, right? With persistence, you just make this your home and you guard it with your organization. This is pretty big, actually, if this is something that's being added. I wasn't even aware of this. Are they all empty? And an automated rocket launcher. And I yeah, I'm not concerned if there's no interior online. I just want to store my shit up in there. And our crew, like, have a good old time and, like, claim it as their own fucking base. You know? Yeah. Yeah, online. You hear what I'm saying, bro? That's, that's exactly what's going to fucking happen to these things, man. People are going to move in. You don't think a lot of cover? Uh, isn't that a, a, an AA battery? Is that a functioning AA battery? They, got, they had some, uh, some guns, too. I would attack it if somebody had enough fucking shit inside there. I mean, if people use it as a storage house, man, I'd attack the shit out of that. <laughs> I mean, think about it. If somebody starts using these as like actual bases for their organization and they start storing their shit in there, I would fucking, I would go in there and I'd raid the fuck out of that place. I mean, with persistence, you could store anything in there you want to, dude. For what purpose? <laughs> Just to have like a, uh, an area where you could actually store shit forever. Imagine you had like 15 to 20 people in an organization and actively bringing in assets from everywhere and just hoarding the fuck out of them. <laughs> Online says, hey, Global Tech, come steal out 1,000 cruise bottles. I would like to do it just to do it. I would like to go in there and just say, this is my fucking base. This is like our organization's base. Just doing that would get people kind of pissed off, you know? <laughs> you know you know what I mean? Like just like claiming this fucking thing for my own. But you'd want to be stealthy about it. If you did want to use it as a storehouse, you wouldn't want to tell anybody. You'd just like tell your friends, keep that shit on the low in the organization Use it as a base of operations. Now you could find a way. I mean, you get a team together and you're starting to accrue different types of assets. You could actually probably find a way to make a lot of money together. Hmm. You know, this is really interesting to me. I like this. I like it. Say automated because it would never actually fire at me even after shooting at it and backing up within what I would uh, think would be like any commodity, really, like any commodity. You know, if you're like pirates, you're bringing in commodities. You bring in like all your goods. You just like fucking bring any commodity. All the, all the commodities. 
to be a uh, rocket distance. So maybe there's got to be missions for that to come online. Uh, as of right now, I have not been able to find any missions for these locations or find anybody as. I mean, just just taking them from players and bringing them in, bringing them here, you know, for future sales. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. Like just just to fuck around, you know, even for training for an organization, this would be a good idea. You know, like to get people accustomed to like, okay, this is our base. This is what you do at your base. This, these are the areas. Like if our base is under attack, this is where you go. Like this would be great. Like for fucking future training for people. When you have like your own player, own bases, your organization, you go here and just fucking try it out and see how it works, man. This is, this is kind of fun. This is like just putting these bases that are completely empty there. And I would leave them empty, but I, I'm fucking worried. Cloud Imperium is going to ruin this shit and start putting things inside this and missions and shit. It's like, keep these fuckers abandoned and watch players kind of use them. The smarter players will use them. <laughs> They're going to find a way to use these motherfucking things. I'm telling you, if they keep these empty, smarter players are going to come in here and fucking use these things as areas where they can make fucking profit and work together as a team or even just use it for training. Limitless is going to use them like an Aaron B because he's a motherfucking boss. Limitless, limitless, wow. limitless is, <laughs> limitless is going to start a hostel <laughs> like the red light district. Limitless is starting the red light district down there. Oh, that's great, Betty. That's great. That's great. <laughs> This, this really makes me excited as long as they don't fuck with it. If they can keep these abandoned, this actually should be really interesting. I would be disappointed. Like, this is, this is my, this is my, this is where I get disappointed in humanity, right? Like, Sig puts these in there for the extensive use of people. They're going to leave them abandoned. They're going to do a giant test to see if, like, players, humans actually use these things as operating bases for themselves. And then what ends up happening, nobody fucking uses them because... They want like some NPC fed fucking mission. They don't want to do anything dynamic whatsoever. <laughs> you know, like that's like, I like my faith in humanity would drop like five notches. They continue to be empty because I'd be like, well, there's nothing here. Nobody's offering me any fucking thing. And no, there's no fucking reward in there. Why the fuck would I, you know, like, like this is the level that the, the humanity has sunk to in gaming since the nineties till now, like in the nineties, everybody and their fucking sister would be up in this motherfucker having a party. Like, no shit. Like, online, like, late 90s, early 2000s, everybody find any fucking reason to be in an abandoned place and call it their own base. Now it's like, uh, there's no AI here giving me anything. <laughs> but, yeah, that's what I hope, Stunner, that if you build it, they will come, right? Yeah, that's what I hope. That's kind of what I'm hoping. But who knows, man? Who knows how? Or what, but I I think it's it would be cool just for the training. I think it'd be cool just for the training of it. Done a mission for these locations. So that may not be in the game yet. Uh walking around though, it's got a very good Yeah, I mean that's true online. You're absolutely right, dude. Online's like, hey man, the javelin wreck's still in the PU. Other places are in the PU. You don't see people, you don't see organizations using those to like use as a as an operating base at all. Maybe the fact that it's designed as a base, like maybe that's what maybe that's what Cloud Imperium had to do. Is like, okay, they're not using the Rex the way we intended to. Let's just make a fucking base and see if they come inside these stupid fucking humans. Is there anybody alive out there? <laughs> no one does it anymore since they've added CS and twelve hour prison sentences. Yeah, I'd imagine, though, like in Pyro, at, at the very least, if they had some of these forward operating bases that were empty in Pyro, it'd be a little bit different, perhaps, you know? I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, online says, back in my old backer days, we used to all meet up at PO and go to Damar and hold down an outpost. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I remember those days, dude. FPS layout to it. Uh, I see it as more of a King of the Hill location. There I don't go. know CIG's plan for the missions here. Uh, I assume that there will be NPCs mostly for all these locations. You know, you come down. 
that would just ruin it. Like to me, if they put NPCs down in here, that would just fucking ruin it for me. You know, it's just, I definitely like anything MMO sandbox related. I like anything dynamic, anything player driven is what I like. The second you put NPCs fucking walking around here, you fucking ruined it. And this is what I hear in my head. It's like, fuck it. You know, the second I, the second I start seeing NPCs at this place, I don't even want to fucking deal with it. Like I, I, I want like all human fucking areas devoid of every NPC and AI. I just want fucking humans. I'm pro human. Give me a fucking base with no NPCs walking around all janky. I want a fucking base for humans. Give me the fucking base. I'll plop down there with people and we'll fucking own it up. And then you motherfuckers can try and, and bust up my org from this spot. You know what I mean? Like, let's have some good fights. Like, th let's bring Jump Town back. Let's bring it back. You know what I mean? Like, let's get some fucking shit going up in here. And let's make this shit dynamic. On your land, uh, <laughs> shoot the NPCs and leave. I do. Have Everybody's so spoon fed anymore. Everybody's so fucking spoon fed, man. If there's oh, if there's no NPC, if there's no terminal, if there's no mission here, what the fuck's it for? Like fuck, fuck. Make it fucking human and have some fun for fuck's sake. I hope they do a couple as PVP though to have a King of the Hill or contested zone. Uh, I think that'd be a whole lot of fun. Yeah, that would until be. You get He's right. Wicked's fun. If they did that, if they did like a King of the Hill or capture the flag kind of vibe in here, even like if they wanted to do anything with it, that'd be kind of cool. You know, we've been talking about this ever since all the uh, contested uh, battle areas in Pyro. I've been talking about how I'd like a base just to be like capture the fucking flag, own it up, and it's your base until somebody comes in and fucking finds a way to get to a center point where they can plop their butts down long enough to capture it from you type vibe. If they could do that on every one of these FOBs, I think that would be a recipe for success. Anything to bring in some type of dynamic gameplay is exactly what Star Citizen needs. You need to bring in more MMO. If you're always fucking worried about so much object containers and so much AI and the coding causing lag and latency and all these jank NPC everywhere, well then fuck it. Do this type of thing and let's just get some motherfucking humans in here and let's have some fun. You know what I mean? All you need are humans. Just clear it all out. Get rid of every fucking NPC in here and make it all human. <laughs> the whole game. <laughs> I don't think anybody in this generation would know the fuck to do with that. Can you imagine? <laughs> I don't think anybody in this generation know what the fuck to do with an open sandbox. Like a truly open sandbox. They walk in and be like... Boy, this is kind of fucking boring, and they just log out as quick as they logged in. A King of the Hill were contested his own. Uh, I think that'd be a whole lot of fun. Until you get carpet bombed. That, I, that would still be fun, though. Uh, yeah, go check them out for yourselves and see what you think. I do believe the PTU is open to everyone now, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, y'all have a good one. See ya. Chaos, man. Chaos. Dynamic events, humans, humans, motherfuckers, dynamic events, humans, man, it's time we get humans to start having fucking imaginations again. Like, man, it's scary out there. What? You know, you're like, <laughs> look at that. Look at these places, right? Devoid of everything. Right. And there's, there's a fraction of humans that have an imagination to figure out what they would do this. I'm, I'm one of the, I guess, very few people that would know exactly what the fuck to do with this. Like people get fucking imaginations. If you're looking at like an empty spot and you're like, but there's nothing I can do here. Then take a moment, stare at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, when's the last time you had a human thought? Are all your thoughts spoon fed to you or do you actually have a thought inside your fucking head? How about that? 